Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Willy's Wonderland, which was released today on demand and directed by Kevin Lewis, is a movie about killer animatronics inside of a Chuck E. Cheese-like establishment that houses a dark past. I will start off by discussing the things that I enjoyed about this film, starting off with the overall cinematography and look of the entire film. This movie utilizes many different camera techniques in the film, especially during the fight scenes. The color and lighting in the film gives the film a very unique style and feel. It also creates some pretty good looking scenes and some creepy moments throughout the film. One of the things that made this movie so captivating from the very start and the official news of this movie being made in the first photos was that it was going to be using practical effects. The animatronics look great in the film and any movie that uses practical effects definitely gets a bonus for me. Of course, Nicolas Cage is the main character and he plays a janitor in a movie that's cleaning up the abandoned Willy Wonderland. Nicolas Cage, <coughs> Nicolas Cage being himself in the movie makes the movie what it is. It succeeds in some special way because of him being in the film. Even though, as you may have heard, he doesn't speak throughout the entirety of the movie. While I would have liked to heard Nicolas Cage speak in the movie, it didn't ruin anything for me and it kind of added to his character. Now to talk about some of the negative of the film, the group of characters, the uh, two females and the three guys that are in the movie, the side characters that enter into the uh, Willy Wonderland, they don't bring much to the film. And overall, the acting for the majority of the characters is just subpar. All that this group of characters did in the film was add on to the runtime and become bait for the animatronics. The movie can be cheesy at times, which I felt could have been avoided, but it wasn't. But with a movie with a budget of $5 million and a movie about killer animatronics in general, it is to be expected. I knew what I was going to get going into this movie, and that is the key to it. You must go into it understanding that it is a comedy slash horror movie. You're not going to walk away from it feeling terrified or anything. But overall, the movie sits at a relatively average score at around a 60%, which I can agree with. The movie's original in a way that we don't get it on screen very often at all. A movie like this could have been an absolute disaster, like Banana Splits was. But it wasn't. It was fun. It was colorful. And it had Nicolas Cage, and you go into it understanding what you're going to get. And I saw even greater potential from watching the movie. The quality continues to get better as you watch it. You can tell that the director understands his utilization of color and lighting and so on, especially in the final scene, which puts all that together in a very fun way. Overall, my biggest issues were with the supporting characters, the bait in the film. The animatronics look great, the practical effects are great. The color and style of the film get better throughout the movie, and I would be excited to see what this director does next, with maybe even a bigger budget, or possibly even a sequel to this movie. But again, the supporting characters are what dragged the movie down, and the acting from them wasn't that great. The story at the end gets a little fishy and cheesy, but again, that's what I expected from this movie. This movie knows what it is, and it handles itself that way. It's a movie about Nicolas Cage versus killer animatronics. Go into this movie understanding what you're going to get. It's not an award-winning movie. It's simply a fun time. And that's what it becomes. Let me know if you've seen the movie and your overall thoughts on it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.